Welcome to the Capitol Minute, your source for what is happening at the State House. We are in the last month of a two-year legislative session, so the usual frenetic pace is picking up even more steam. Please take just a few minutes of your time in the next few weeks and call your legislators on issues that are vitally important to your practice and the protection and care of South Carolina's patients. On Tuesday afternoon, the full House 3M committee is considering a new optometric scope of practice bill. With the exception of laser surgery, all of the dangerous provisions allowing surgical procedures and injections are in the legislation that will be considered this week. If you live or work in a district where a member of the House 3M committee resides, please call them immediately and voice your opposition to H4819. With a chance that this bill could pass out of committee to the floor of the House, we need you to begin calling all local House members and voice your strong opposition to this legislation. For additional talking points and information, please check this edition of MedWeek. We are on the cusp of finally passing a 50 cent increase to our cigarette tax. We need your help to make this happen. As you will recall, the House and Senate have now both passed a cigarette tax at 50 cents. Most of the approximately $130 million that will be raised is to be placed in an account to help backfill Medicaid shortfalls. The only difference between the House and Senate versions of the bill is the Senate allocated $3.5 million towards infrastructure in the I-95 region of the state. With a similar allocation made in the Senate version of the budget last week, we are hoping that the Senate will concur with the House amendments and send the bill directly to the governor. Here is how you can help. With a gubernatorial veto as certainty, we will need both the House and Senate by a two-thirds vote to override his veto for the 50 cent increase to become law. The Senate passed their version of a cigarette tax by a veto-proof majority, but the House version passed two weeks ago was about 20 votes short. Please call and urge both your House and Senate leaders to override a veto. Stay tuned for more information on both of these vital issues. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.